Thousand Cranes is a novel by Japanese author Yasunari Kawabata, first published in 1952. It is set in Japan after World War II, and focuses on an orphaned young man named Kikuji. He becomes involved with Mrs. Oda, a former mistress of his father. However, the trauma of losing her lover and her shame over her current affair with his son drives her to suicide, and this causes Kikuji and Mrs. Oda's daughter Fumiko to become enmeshed in their mutual grief. The novel features recurring motifs of the colors red and white, as well as using the traditional Japanese tea ceremony to initially represent grace and precision, and later tragic decay. A key theme in the novel is that of fate, legacy, and inheritance, as all the main characters are caught in an attempt to reclaim the past and regain what they have lost. Thousand Cranes was cited in Yasunari Kawabata's Nobel Prize for Literature, along with his novel Snow Country and the Old Capital. It was selected for translation and inclusion in the UNESCO collection of representative works, and remains widely read and studied around the world today. It is considered among the most important works of modern Japanese literature. As Thousand Cranes opens, Kikuchi visits a woman named Shikako for a tea ceremony. He knows that his father had a brief affair with Shikako years before his death, but she is friendly towards him and points him towards a young woman named Yukiko, whom she intends to match with him in marriage. However, Kikuchi is instead drawn to a woman named Mrs. Oda, a longtime lover of his father's, who is attending the ceremony with her daughter Fumiko. The ceremony takes on a tense feeling, with the history of the two women and their children caught in the middle. After the ceremony, Mrs. Oda is waiting for Kikuchi outside, and they start talking. They wind up going to an inn for the night and sleeping together. Although Kikuchi is horrified and shamed by the idea of sleeping with his father's lover, he can't deny the attraction and begins to fall for Mrs. Oda. Chikako, however, pushes Kikuchi to commit to her attempt to match him with Yukiko, and attempts to keep Mrs. Oda and Fumiko away from Kikuchi. Although Mrs. Oda is briefly deterred from meeting with Kikuchi, she eventually meets him again, and they have another night of passion together. The guilt and shame of the encounter breaks Mrs. Oda down, and after returning home that night, she commits suicide. Shocked by the death of the woman with whom he felt such a strong connection, Kikuji begins to meet with Fumiko more and more, as they both grieve in their own ways. Fumiko begs Kikuji to forgive her mother, although he doesn't quite understand why she thinks she needs to be forgiven so much. He agrees to meet with Yukiko to discuss the marriage again, but he refuses Chikako's attempts to move forward with the marriage plans. Despite this, Chikako continues to visit his house and pester him, interfering with his life. Eventually, Fumiko moves away, but she doesn't tell Kikuji and he only finds out when he comes calling at her house. He tracks her down, and they meet for a tea ceremony where they discuss their parents. Chikako visits Kikuji one day and tells him that both Yukiko and Fumiko have gotten married to other men. Kikuji is shocked and hurt, but he attempts to conceal this from Chikako. However, after a few days he gets a call from Fumiko telling him to look for a private letter from her. He congratulates her on her marriage, and she is shocked to hear he thinks she's married. She agrees to meet him at his home. When she arrives, she tears up the letter and tells him to destroy the tea bowl she gave him before. He refuses, but when he finds another bowl, they realize it was the bowl his father and her mother used during their affair. She casts the bowl aside and shatters it. The implication is that they sleep together that night. The next day, Kikuchi seeks her out to clarify what this meant to them and where they go from here, but she is neither at work nor at home. As the book ends, he is struck with a horrible sense of guilt and fear that she may follow in the same path as her mother. Yasunari Kawabata was the first Japanese writer to win the Nobel Prize for Literature. Considered one of the foremost writers of the Japanese New Writing Movement and one of the founders of the literary journal, The Artist Age in 1924, he served as the president of the Japanese P.E.N. from 1948 to 1965, and was appointed an office of the Order of Arts and Letters of France in 1960, a year before he was awarded Japan's Order of Culture. He wrote seven major novels and over 140 short stories in his writing career, the majority of which are in the collection Palm of the Hand Stories. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.